Next, a new take on a literary classic. Jeffrey Brown has the latest addition to the NewsHour bookshelf. A king sacrifices his own daughter to appease the gods. His wife takes revenge by killing her husband. The story of King Agamemnon, Queen Clytemnestra, and their children, set against the backdrop of the Trojan War, is quite literally the stuff of Greek tragedy. Now comes a new telling in House of Names, a novel by one of today's leading writers, Colm Tobin. His acclaimed books include The Master, Nora Webster, and Brooklyn, which was made into a film in 2015. Welcome to you. Thank you. So what is this? A retelling, a, a rethinking? What are you doing here? Yeah, it's a retelling of the story, and this is the great story of, a, of war within a family, of a family at war. It's an intimate war. So as, as, for example, the war in Syria is going on, if you want some version of that as to, you know, a, a sort of myth, a sense of how, what this looks like, when it happens intimately, rather than, say, one country at war with another, then I suppose this is the great story. This is the, this is the myth of origin of all civil wars. Yeah, and, but it is, as you say, a, at heart, a family drama, a family tragedy. Does it feel... I mean, I've read others of your books that are set in an Ireland that yeah. you know or that you might have lived... that you have lived in. Did it feel like these characters were as alive to you as those others? Yes. I mean, I mean, once you start working with a family, you're working with two sorts of feeling, which is elemental love. But if that goes wrong, you get rage and hatred on a new sort of level. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I was, I was attempting to use a contemporary novelist system. I mean, it is set in ancient Greece, but psychologically trying to establish why would a woman murder her husband? She's not a psychopath, but she's got very good reasons to yes. murder her husband. Yeah. I mean, he's behaved atrociously towards her, but much harder with the one to imagine how would a son murder his own mother. And so I was, yeah, I, I became absolutely involved as though I knew them, as though I could see everything they did, working in detail all the time with each of them and their motives and their shifting motives and the rage they felt. But they were also eating together in the evening. I mean, when, when Orestes comes home, his mother, like any mother, says, oh, my God, I hope your bedroom's OK for you. Right. But actually, the little Dale's yeah. details of everyday life. And, and his oh. sister's hugging him. But yeah. actually, what they all have in mind is where, where are the weapons? You know, what, what are they eventually going to do? You, you told this in alternating uh, voices, but especially the voice, the woman's voice, Clytemnestra, in a first person, right? I, I, I. Yes, uh, there's, there's a late play by Euripides called Iphigenia at Aulis, which tells the story from her point of view. She was lured um, to the camp. To, her husband said it was going to be a wedding but in fact, we're going to sacrifice her daughter. So that I wanted to open it with her eye, with her voice saying, I have been acquainted with the smell of death. And then that's to describe... That's literally the opening yes, line. Yes, that's the opening right? line. Yes. Then, to be, then to describe how she took a lover, so she would so get someone to help her, and she planned everything down. So this is a novel also, besides about families, about power. And so anyone who's, who's ever seeking power should read this book because it gives you the notion of how much planning you have to do for that single moment. If you get one thing wrong, everything goes wrong. Yeah. And so she plans to kill her husband when he returns victorious from the Trojan War. From the beginning in ancient times to now, these stories are about the cycle of violence, right? And I know that in the plays, there's, and in the Greek times, there's looking back at how did it all begin, right? What led to one death after another? But it also raises the question of how does it ever end? Yeah. Right? Th that with any civil war, for example, the troubles in Northern Ireland or what's happening in Syria, it begins with one killing. And then it's impossible to put the genie back in the bottle. It is retaliation after retaliation. So violence within a civil war or violence within a gang feud is always a spiral. You know, it's one and then it's five and then it's something atrocious occurs further. So, so to that extent, we're still living in that idea of violence, not as a single act, but as a cycle. You also have in this, as in others of your works, questions of morality, questions of religion. You have the uh, Queen Clytemnestra saying that the gods have gone, 
right? That we're, we're living in a new age. It's very hard to put the gods into a contemporary novel. So I had early on in the book that Clytemestra is different from the others because she does not pray to the gods or appeal to the gods. Mm -hmm. She has will, she makes the decision. So what I wanted to do was move it away from the godly into the idea of it's people who cause this, not the gods. These killings are done by people who decide to do them as people rather than having this almighty power. Just ask you one general question about writing, because I saw where you said once that a novel really begins for you in a sentence, that, that a sentence somehow, and this was the quote I saw, contains the full weight of a novel. It's an interesting yeah, idea. You have something on one side of your head. I don't know if, if I'm not a brain surgeon, but if one side of your head might store information and or an idea or a memory or something, and that moves of its own accord into rhythm and you get a line, that line, I have been acquainted with the smell of death. And once you get that, you can then work. Until you get it, you can't. And so you wait for it. But once it's there, there's no point in waiting for it again. You must work. Yeah, then, then the work comes of yeah. actually writing the book. Huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, the new novel is House of Names, Colm Tobin. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you very much.